Yo, what is good everyone? It is Maki here, I'm coming to you guys back with another video. In today's video, we have arrived to some sort of attraction up here in the mountains of Chiang Mai. I forget what it's called, I did not plan today's itinerary but we are on a huge hill and we've got a bunch of steps to uh, to climb up so all the um, all the cardio hopefully better pay off because if it doesn't I'm gonna be screwed I'll catch you guys in a bit They don't look real. Like my perspective of this right now is this looks like a painting. Actually insane. Oh. Dude, this is nuts. You can see behind the palm tree, that strip right there, that's the that's Chiang Mai um, airport. Actually insane. Alright, what is going on guys? I am in this... <laughs> we are at this... I don't know what it is, it's like a temple cave. It's really quiet. I don't want to disturb anyone, but check out this place. It's actually insane. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what any of these places are called. So I will have the uh, location here underneath. But yeah, that's it. Come along and uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and put something down in the comments below. Uh, this place is insane. Alright guys, have a look at this. It's actually insane here. There's a little bit of everything. The camera doesn't do it any justice whatsoever. This is, the, again, one of the most aesthetic and majestic places I've ever been to. What a vibe. Destination number three at the moment. Uh, this place here, I also don't know what it's called. I will have the listing over here. But yeah, let's go inside, check it out, and um, see what majestic things they got happening here. Yeah. 
this place is insane. It's actually, I've said insane probably 700 times in this video, but words don't do it justice of how beautiful this place is. The only downfall I would say is I'm an idiot for coming at this time in the peak weather, or peak heat I should say. But it's absolutely worth it. If you guys ever do come to Chiang Mai, please make sure to visit this place. It is, again, aesthetic. You'll see things that you've never seen before and uh, immerse yourself in this culture of the beautiful country of Thailand. Yes, sir. Bruh. Amazing place. Again, I wish I picked a better time to, to come here, but nonetheless, now's always the perfect time. I'm not sure they sell these, uh, they look like raffle tickets or something. I've got no idea what they are. I think it's like the Thai version of Tats Lotto, but ghetto spec. Anyways, we're off to our third destination. Um, we might stop past and grab some food. It's so fucking hot. <laughs> The, but the blessing in disguise is that when I researched uh, the north or the whole country of Thailand, but in particular Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, the weather prediction was supposed to be uh, 33 degrees and scattered thunderstorms. However, I've only seen rain once uh, up in the north. I've seen rain. In Bangkok when I was leaving to go to Chiang Rai but very blessed considering the odds were against me so we'll head out to the next destination and I'll keep you guys in the loop. So I just learnt a new word Pian uh, Moleo okay <laughs> oh hot hot yeah uh, okay so it means like hot I guess <laughs> I don't know the exact translation, but I've been picking up a couple words <laughs> yeah. here and there. Um, so, shout out to Nada for helping me. Yeah, I've been sweating. She's pointed it out. Need the tissues. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I do like about this vehicle is she drives manual, <laughs> which is so cool. <laughs> and really does not care about the road rules she kind of reminds she kind of reminds me of myself uh, back in Australia I drive manual yeah uh, you don't really come across that many people in Thailand especially women that drive manual cars so good job all right we are at the fourth destination um, location I got no idea but I'll put it down here below and you guys can check that place out if you're planning to visit here in Chiang Mai I'm already impressed of how this looks like at the front so yeah let's go inside and uh, see what it's all about So within this location there's probably about one, two, three, four, about four or five different temples and some other architecture as well. I'm not too sure 
what they I don't know if there's different temples for different reasons or for different types of praying but nonetheless it looks absolutely amazing here um, location will be down below if you guys want to check this place out it's actually amazing and yeah i i looked at every sign unfortunately there was nothing written in uh, in english so this is a local place that i've um that i've been brought to and i really do appreciate it i mean just look at this you don't see anything like this like every little piece of information um uh, every little piece of artwork it's not artwork it's cultural i'm lost for words right now if you can't tell um, and i'm absolutely boi boiling so it's time to um possibly wrap this up thank you guys for coming along for today's journey and today's video if you guys could go down below give this video a big thumbs up smash the subscribe button and also go down and drop something in the comments hashtag watched it until the end or something like that anyways thank you again for watching today's video and until next time love peace and bless